Hi folks, my name's TJ Johnson. I'm with Dave Arbor Gas Conversion Vans in Troy, Ohio. And I wanted to bring you something new here we have to the conversion van world. We've been waiting for something here for a while. Everything's been kind of mundane, kind of ho-hum, but this is exciting. I mean, this is something that's great. And we've got it here in this Mercedes-Benz Metris conversion van done by Explorer Vans. So anyway, over the next few minutes here, we're gonna go over some of the facts, features, and everything here on this van. Stay tuned, and uh, hopefully we all learn something here. Now what we'd like to go over here first is some of the things that we have changed here from the factory package here on this Mercedes-Benz Metris by Explorer Van. And one thing that they have done here is they have gone through and they have painted this front grill cover to match. It's key coated to match over the front end. It's a really nice touch. Also in there they have key coated the rear view mirrors as well as the door handles here on this van and also the front and rear bumper covers. Along with this, another nice touch that they put in here is just a touch of class. It really kind of sets off that front end here when you've got that chrome Mercedes emblem is this chrome fascia here on the front end of the grill. Just a small touch, but sometimes it's the little things that matter. The other things, and it may be difficult to see here in, in the video here in the shot, is right here on the front end of it. You can see the color change here from the bottom side up here to the top. And what they've done is they've done a special fade paint on this where they've gone the chassis color factory in white and change that on over to the bottom end. It's a, it's a fade, real subtle right here along the belt line. You'll get to see this here in a moment uh, where they have changed that fade on in there and it's gone to a pure silver. Some of the other things that are here on, are along the outside of the van, and we'll get to these here in a moment also, you know, having to do with the fade paints, the wheels. Uh, we've also put a raised roof on this van, which is actually very interesting. Uh, most vans on your full-size conversions, what we're typically used to in the market is having an eight-foot clearance overall on these, which makes it very difficult to get into your garages, uh, carports, parking garages, shuttle parking, things like that. Whereas on these here, I put a tape on it, it measures off at 83 inches, that's one inch shy of seven feet. So as far as clearance wise, most standard garage doors are seven feet tall. This will make it, where your, your past conversion vans will not make it around. So anyway, let's go ahead, we'll see along, along the side here and we'll see what else this van has to offer here. Now moving along on the exterior of this van, and again, you could go on and on for days about what this thing has to offer, but we'll just kind of keep it brief here. You should be able to see this blend line right here in the paint here going along the side of the vehicle. Where right in here they wind up making that fade where they bring that silver up to the bottom and come in here. Now we can, all, we can fade to almost any color you want. Some colors are a little bit too drastic. Uh, but as far as is your chassis color, you're going to be caught with this on the front end and then you can fade the bottom up to about any color you want. Another thing that they're going to offer here on these, this is a 17 inch chrome wheel. It's actually a powder coat finish. An 18 inch wheel is actually being uh, retrofitted here right now, it's in the works, so that will be coming. We'll have a 17 inch as well as an 18 inch wheel available for these. Uh, and eventually, this is the first, actually I believe the first in the country, and this is Mercedes Continental tire on there. These will be ret retrofitted with Michelin tires here as we start getting some more of these vehicles available. Uh, going along the side end here, you do see on the top end of it, this is your raised roof portion. This was done by Explorer as well. And you notice this glass panel on the side of here, which on the inside, and we'll see this here in a few, actually looks really, really neat. This is called a Vista Cruiser top. Uh, and what it does is it's gonna do a couple of things. It's gonna let a lot more natural light along to the inside of the vehicle. and also gives it a really nice look uh, uh, here onto the outside as well. You notice this little cutout right here. Now this is particular to Mercedes, typically on their commercial vans. That's actually the fuel tank. This is a gasoline motor. It's a two liter, four cylinder inline uh, turbocharged four. Uh, I'll tell you what, I didn't know what to think about it until we actually got it out and drove it on the road for a while. This offers 208 horsepower, 258 uh, foot-pounds of torque, which you'd think for a full-size van may be a little bit difficult to get it up and moving, but this really does have the pep, especially with that seven-speed transmission that they wind up pairing with this as well. Uh, so anyway, from here, we can go on to the back of the vehicle. We'll take a look and see what the back has to offer. Uh, this one is set up in one particular way, but there are a couple of options. We'll get there in a moment. Okay, now moving along to the back end of this vehicle here, there's gonna be a couple of changes here and, and, and some differences in chassis yet to come. Again, keep in mind, this is the first one out here as available to my understanding. But on the back end of this van, what it has is your standard style deck lid. Now this is not a power deck lid and they will not have a power to my understanding here moving forward unless maybe in future model years. But as far as 2016, this is going to be a standard regular lift gate. However, they do give you a little tether strap over here so anybody who's maybe not tall enough to get underneath here does give you an option to pull it down. One thing I really like about this as opposed to the split doors 
and this is something I fight with in my car all the time, is that you know you go to put things in the back or you're hanging out your tailgate and you're doing whatever you do and, it, and you're out in the rain. Well, now you're covered. This gives you a great option to be covered. Here in the back end of the van, you have plenty of storage. Um, you're gonna have approximately two feet of space here from where this door shuts to the back end, so it's gonna be perfect for your uh, travel style of luggage. Uh, you can really knock some things out in here. As far as the rear sofa, not like traditional conversions here in the past where it's gonna be that power sliding and, and the rear, uh, rear sofa lay down into a bed. This will be stationary. However, it is quick release on the floor. They have these latches here on the back. The seat's heavier than the Dickens, but if you pull that latch up out of there, it'll wind up releasing itself. Have a buddy to help you if you are gonna take that out so you can use this for hauling. Uh, and also keep in mind these center seats are a quick release as well. Uh, so as far as getting some items in and out of here, you could haul double refrigerators in here, a heavy freezer. You can literally do almost anything you want. It's totally utilitarian. Uh, moving on here to the back, and again, as we wind up moving forward here, some more of the safety features will wind up coming on. There will be ultrasonic park assist here to the back end, and along with that, we'll also offer uh, the parking assistant as well, uh, where it's gonna help you search and find those parking spots that this vehicle will easily fit into and virtually park itself. Um, on the back end, right here by the license plate frame, one thing that's really neat that I think that they have done with this, I mean, they hit the nail on the head, is when you put this vehicle into reverse, this camera is gonna pop out right over top of the license plate ring. While you're in reverse, you'll be able to see everything behind you. It is a true in motion camera. It's guided, it'll tell you where you're putting the back end of the vehicle. But when you put it back either into park, any gear but reverse, that camera's gonna come back up. No longer is it going to be caught in the rain, caught in the snow, getting all that road muck caught up on it as you drive down the road. Really, really great innovative idea. Uh, also here on the back, not typical, typical for conversion bands, but they do offer a rear wiper here on the back. Uh, now here in, in models to come, this is a full traditional deck lid like what you'd see on say a typical minivan. Uh, but with this here, they're also going to offer the split doors here in the back. So it'll be the traditional barn, store, barn door style. Uh, it'll give you a little bit of flexibility, a little bit of options, that way you can have it one way or the other. You can really have your cake and eat it too. Uh, along with these, you do have an option. You can have this outfitted here with a class three receiver. As far as trailering is concerned, they figure these vehicles on a combined weight, which is how Mercedes has always done here with their commercial style vehicles. Uh, combined weight on this particular one is 11,700 11, pounds, which after the weight of the conversion and passenger occupancy figured at 150 pounds per seat, it's gonna offer you ballpark just shy of 5,000 pounds of towing. So as far as light trailers, small boats, things like that, you'll really be able to get it done in this vehicle. Gives it some nice, nice options. Well, let's take a look and, and see what they have to offer here on the inside as well. Moving along here with our Mercedes-Benz Metris Explorer conversion van. Some other neat things here about this. One thing is this does have an option to have the dual power sliding doors, driver and passenger side which is actually kind of neat. Sliding doors here on, on full-size conversions of the past, you know, they were loud, they were noisy, uh, they rattled, they're heavy, and they were never power. And with these now, now you have the option to power. Now, along, well, along with that, it's kind of hard to tell just standing beside it, but I, of course you can tell this is a little bit smaller vehicle, a raised roof, seven foot tall as opposed to the eight foot tall in the old styles. But with this here, the neat thing is they have lowered the ground clearance on this, which does a couple of things here for you. It's gonna keep your lower center of gravity. It's actually gonna handle a little bit better than some of the vans here in the past. And it's also gonna give you a lower step plate coming in. Now, one complaint that we always had here on some of these covered style ground effects, which is typically offered by Explore, and it's a beautiful package, but that lower running board, it's more cosmetic than it is functional. With this here, not having to have that lower running board because of this lower entrance, you actually wind up being able to enter and exit the vehicle safely, much easier. As far as the overall height, the sill here on the floor is 19 inches off the floor. That's a nine inch reduction from what they had there in your full size GM vans, uh, where you wind up being 28 inches as opposed to this 19. Uh, now having that 19 in there, it's gonna open up a couple of things here for you. As far as getting people inside and out, getting yourself inside and out makes it much, much easier. The other thing with these doors here, and we have not gotten all the way into it here yet because they are so new, would have to be mobility concerns. 
With this height here in the door, this height has not changed from that full size van. You actually have 48 inch opening in here, uh, which means as far as lifts are concerned, once we wind up prototyping some more things on these, you'll still be able to have that 440, full 43 inch platform on there to enter and exit. Currently, to the best of my knowledge, the only lift that would work in this would be a Fiorella F500, which is pricey and very limited in the market. Uh, however, it is an option. Now, along with this, and this is probably a good time to hit this here, standard in these vans, these center row captain's chairs will swivel. Now, they're also quick release, as I had mentioned here in the back with the rear sofa being quick release from the floor. These center row seats are quick release as well, and they'll also swivel. They'll lock into position rear facing 180 degrees and also forward facing, which is the more safe way to ride. But either way, you have integrated seat belts along with this seat. Uh, the other neat thing with that seat, and it's something that they had changed there with the safety laws on the belts, but when this seat reclines back past a certain position, that belt locks, locks right now. Uh, so very safe, very functional, and you can turn it around and be able to face the folks in the back. Now, I'm not gonna say that you're gonna have a whole lot of room, but it is an option. Even for the people that's in the back, if you're riding by yourself, kick your feet up on the seat in front of you. At least you got a leg rest. Uh, and then as far as turning the seat back around, flip of a switch, comes right back around. As it always has been with these Explorer vans, it's a simple cam lever release. It's gonna pull this seat right out of here. No longer are you gonna have the buckle bolsters up here on the overhead to deal with. Uh, everything's all included with the seat. Release, pop it right out and you're ready to go. Now here on the front end, again, the lower entryway on this is gonna make this very, very easy to get in and out of. You can literally slide right on in the seat and come on out. Now, moving forward here with some of this, you know, I'd like to get a little bit closer just so you can see some of the things that this Mercedes has to offer. It truly wraps you in comfort. Uh, so anyway, Come take a look and I'll show you some of the things that are on the inside as well. I'll tell you what, you talk about being easy to be comfortable. Never in my life did I think that I would promote a minivan, but this is it. Uh, it's, it's small enough to be able to get around. It's large enough to be able to be utilitarian uh, and really truly is comfortable and everything just wraps you. Everything's at a fingertips away. It's right there, driver control. Uh, everything all power inside of this, the power doors, power windows, locks, mirrors, keyless entry. Unfortunately, no, uh, no remote start, oddly enough. Uh, but the windows, they are both driver, passenger, their power, their express up as well as down. Um, and then, you know, sitting here inside of the cockpit, you know, some of the, the neat safety features that they have here on the van. And again, there's gonna be more to come as we move forward. Uh, but here on this vehicle here, we do have lane keeping assist um, and, the neat thing with that is, you know, we've through GM, we've gotten used to the, the, the vibrating seat that's going to wind up giving you pulses to let you know, hey, stay in your lane. There's something ahead of you, behind you, that a crash is imminent. This is actually going to give you a pulse in the steering wheel, uh, which is really, really kind of neat. Uh, and it catches your attention the first time you drift left to center one time or the other. Uh, but the pulse on the steering wheel, everything here at steering wheel controls right there, thumbs tips away. On the back side of the wheel, you have the option to do triptonic shifting through the seven, uh, seven speed transmission. Um, the windshield wipers, you can set them to delay, but they are also rain sensing, so they can be very well automatic. Uh, you can turn on and off the lane keeping assist. Forward, uh, forward collision prevention is also there. You'll get visual, visual uh, notifications here in the dash, right in the middle of the gauge cluster to let you know, hey, you know, there's something coming. Uh, they'll give you an audible beep there to follow that up with, so I mean, there really, really are some neat safety things. And you know, as far as some of the other items that are on here and conversions, we've gotten used to not being able to have the ability to have that full head curtain airbag. This has got them front to back, all the way back. Uh, so the safety was not cut aside even by putting the raised roof on there and cutting the tops to get it that way. Uh, so really, really is nice. Um, headlamps, of course, are gonna be automatic. Uh, everything is easily laid out, easy to show here, there in the front end of the dash. Uh, it, it, they've, they've made everything very, very simple, very plain, which is, is one thing that I do appreciate. Um, also here to the inside of, you know, we, we have a, a Harman navigation system as well. Uh, this is a Harman Becker navigation system. Everything is Bluetooth. Uh, 
you have Bluetooth controls here, you can sync and pair everything with it, be able to pull your contacts, which is also something that we're not used to having in the conversion band world. Uh, so this is actually a very, very nice touch. Uh, front and rear air conditioning, everything is going to be automatic, it's dual zone climate control, you can set your temperature in the front and the back, also something we've, also, we've not been able to do here in conversion van world. Uh, as far as everything in the front, everything is leather wrapped. Uh, the wood grain appointments here on the front end of the dash, we have an option of five different color wood grains to be able to work through with Explorer vans. Um, just everything very, very nice. Even down here to the center of the vehicle, large cup holders. Never again will you have that big gulp and not be able to put it in a cup holder. I, these cup holders are massive. Uh, with Explorer, as always, we do have this uh, center cooler here in, in the center. Um, and uh, everything there, it's wood grain appointed as well. Again, large cup holders, a deep well there in that cooler. I, so I need it really, really is nice. There's little storage pockets and things all around. There's storage pockets up on the tops of the dash. There's storage pockets down here in the middle. If you're not using the cooler for food and drink, uh, you can use that as storage as well. Um, they've, they've really, really thought this one through when they put it all together. As far as interface with the radio, you know, you also have your, your HDMI ports, your auxiliary jacks, you know, that's all going to be in there, or I'm sorry, USB ports, auxiliary jacks, that'll be there. This system is not a traditional disc navigation system. Uh, it actually gives you a, uh, a tether here inside of this little box that'll be here in the glove box. Uh, but you can actually download map updates right here, right to the unit. Uh, so, you know, long gone are the days where you wind up, you have a, a disc that was mapped out the year before, copyrighted the year before that. When you buy a brand new vehicle, you've got a map disc that's two years old. Uh, you know, that's something that we've, that this has gotten all the way away from, which is really nice. Uh, and the GM vans are doing that as well, too. But uh, that's why I tell you, they, they really have thought it through. LED lighting here going all the way around in the front end of it. Uh, LED lights added by Explorer through the back, reading lights, map lights, natural light through the windows, I mean, everything really is there. Uh, and from here, let's take a look and we'll see what the entertainment package has to offer in the rear. Okay, now here in the back end of, of the new Mercedes Metris uh, by Explorer Vans, this is really where, if you get the opportunity, you really want to be able to ride back here. Uh, you know, call me Jeeves and let me be your chauffeur. This is where you want to be. Here in the back end, and you can see where we've got all the lights here in the back. We have our infinity lights here in the front. Uh, up here, we do have a dimmer package with that too. It's gonna dim out our infinity lights. Also, our lower end directs, it's up here along on the sides of the valances. Really is a nice touch. And the neat thing about that is, especially being the driver, I know I deal with this with my kids. You know, they all wanna read a book at night, which is great, but it blinds me as a driver. You can actually dim these down. It's enough to be able to see. Uh, it's enough to be able to read, at least for a short time without hurting yourself and not blind the driver as well. Uh, at each one of the seats, you're gonna have uh, your own air controls. You can shut it off, you can open it up, you, know, you can do everything that you want to. And that is, again, Mercedes factory. They did not have to cut any of this on the side. Um, here in the, in the tops, you know, your Vista Bay windows that are in there, whether these lights are on or off, you're gonna get a lot of natural light that's gonna come inside of here really is nice. Uh, privacy tint glass here on the back end of the vehicle uh, as it has been typically here in years past. Uh, 22 inch HD flat panel TV by LG that's going to be inside of here uh, along with the opportunity to uh, sync up wirelessly through headphones. Uh, so if, if you're in your happy place you've got your radio going and, and everybody else wants to watch a movie you can still have the radio. They can tune in with headphones. The headphones are no longer hanging up here on the side pillars. They're actually here in a, a drawer underneath the rear sofa, which we'll show you here in a few. There's actually two storage compartments there underneath the rear sofa. Uh, so, you know, keeping the clutter and things off the floor, really, really easy to do. We do have a Blu-ray player here in the entertainment console down below. Uh, also inside of this entertainment console, we have USB charging ports. We have an HDMI port that's gonna allow you to, to bring in an additional video game system. Um, you know, maybe you've got a camcorder you wanted to feed in there and, and, and watch a kid's soccer games or something. Uh, but you can feed that in, play it up onto the TV. It's really, really nice options to have. Uh, the center console, and Explorer has always done this. You know, they've, they've kept clutter in mind. And when I say that, uh, you know, remote controls. Remote controls are one thing that I, I run into it in my living room. I step on them on the floor. They just happen to be there. With these, everything has its place. 
The headphones have a place there underneath the rear sofa and a drawer. These got uh, uh, cubby holes that are cut out here right in the middle of the entertainment system. The remotes slide right into them. They're out of the way. You're not going to kick them, trip on them, step on them, anything like that. Really, really is a nice feature. Uh, also, along with everything, you know, the wood grain continues from the front clear onto the back. Uh, nice little accents here on the lights here on the indirect package here on the side. Uh, the All of the entertainment cooler here on the sides of the armrest, that's all still there. It's all decked out in wood grain. Again, five different colors of wood grain that you can choose from. Um, another neat thing that they have done here is on the backs of the headrests and even here on the walls, one thing that they kept with, although that this van is conversion, Explorer wanted to try to stay as true to Mercedes as they possibly could. And what they've done is they've actually stitched the Mercedes emblem into all of the headrests here on the van. Uh, so, you know, not only do you wind up with Explorer's chair, you get something that's big and cushioned comfortable. They've redone the front seats. They've actually put their seats on top of the pedestals, which has not been able to have been done in the past due to safety concerns. Uh, they really, really figured it out and knocked it out of the park with this one. Uh, same thing with the captain's chairs here in the middle. They are big, plush, comfortable, really, really nice to drive. Uh, and then you also have seating for three more here in the back. Um, so, you know, as, as far as everybody having a place, everybody having a seat, we've all got it. Here for the entertainment system in the back, I, they've, they've bumped that up also. They've beefed this up. It's all Rockford Fosgate here in the back end of it. Uh, so really pump the wattage to the cottage. If you're watching that movie, it gets intense. You've really got great sound for it also. Uh, they do still have a cubby hole here in the back end of it, so you have some more overhead storage uh, here over top of the rear sofa, as it has been in years past. We do still have the sunroof over top of the rear sofa, also with the sunshade, uh, so you can, excuse me, you can keep the light out of there. Uh, likewise, it is fully functional. You can open it up, and just how they had done here in the last couple of model years, they have kept true with that, that uh, sunroof that has tied into ignition power. So if that roof's open, it will sense it when you pull the key out of the ignition, that roof will shut itself. You'll never be left out in the rain. Uh, so really, really is nice options. Um, as far as car seats are concerned, one thing that we've always ran into in the past is, you know, where can we go ahead and, and, and put kids in car seats? And nice thing with this is we do have latch system here in these two center row captain's chairs. And there are also tether points here on the back sofas as well on the back side of the seat. Uh, so now you have a little bit more option as far as, you know, children, young children with car seats because uh, anymore it seems like we have to ride in a car seat until we're 20 years old unless you pass the, the size requirements for them. Uh, so being able to have that as an option, you can definitely do it, uh, which really, really gives a nice touch. Uh, here to the back end of it, uh, everything is leather wrapped here in the back, speakers here to the sides, your own air controls on here, um, cup holders that are here right to, the side of the, uh, right to the side of the seats, and it's actually kind of a neat look on those as well. Um, so I need to know that they, they really have thought of everything. There's power ports all out through, all throughout the van, USB, 12 volts. Uh, if you run out of places to charge something, you're probably carrying too much stuff. I mean, they've really got everything in here. Uh, so anyway, as far as the insides, I mean, they're really, really nice concept. They really have done a great job with it. Hey folks, I just wanted to thank you for taking the time to go through and, and watch this brief demonstration. I know that I can ramble on a little bit for that. I do apologize if I was wordy, but you really can't say enough about this vehicle. I mean, you know, we've been looking for something, a shot in the arm, just something exciting. And I really think that we've got something here with this, especially, you know, the overall size, I, the, the utilitarianism of it. I mean, you can really, really do a lot with it. You can get in and out of places. Some of the concerns we've dealt with in the past are overcoming this vehicle. Uh, so again, I do want to thank you. As we do get more options in here, we will go ahead and get you some more information moving forward. But if you do have any questions, uh, would like more information pertaining one of these vehicles, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Again, my name is TJ Johnson with Dave Arbogast Conversion Vans, and I thank you for your time.